हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंग्लिश एकेडमी आर इंग्लिश एकेडमी एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू कैन सी मी वेल गेस व्हाट नाउ यू कैन सी मी एज़ वेल एज़ दिस ऑसम अमेजिंग और इंस्पायरिंग स्टुपेंडस कलेक्शन ऑफ बुक्स माय बुक्स वेल दिस इज माय very own very personal very private collection of books my own sweet sweet library at my home sweet home and uh, guess what i have a bigger better collection than this in my another room and even a bigger better collection than that in some other room well excuse me how many rooms do i have that's what i live in a library just kidding and please don't get badly affected by this look uh, this is what you call the quarantine look um, the look of being in isolation for so many days and uh, yes we indians are going to beat corona virus we are going to defeat corona virus we are going to overcome yes we shall overcome hopefully soon in the meantime i am here to promote my brand new channel called uh, professor manish the alchemist yes finally i am an alchemist childhood dream fulfilled mission accomplished yes i am an alchemist okay and uh, but most importantly uh, do go to each every menu of this uh, website uh, read the intro also Uh, we have posted all the different uh, links of our different uh, social media websites uh, our own website uh, where you can read a lot of articles it will be helpful to you uh, in the longer time um, we can start with this uh, important topic of uh, english subject of english language for preparing for our uh, school section 9th and 10th uh, called expansion of ideas yes and a very important thing The name of this topic has been changed. Yes, log chodo ab the topics ke bhi naam badal rahe hain. Now expansion of ideas is known as expand the theme. Reason being, uh, there are four different media uh, types of uh, expansion uh, provided to you. Uh, the first is the well known, well heard, but sadly not well remembered uh, proverbs. Uh, second is a maxim. Well, what is a maxim? Uh, it's a cultural truth. It's a Cultural fact, a social fact known by everyone. It's a moral thing. It's an ethical thing uh, followed by everyone. Uh, the third is the quotation. Yes, the quotation, uh, which is called a saying by someone. And the last one is a slogan. And uh, by the way, I could have put up a whiteboard behind me, but I didn't want to spoil this beautiful look. So, but I have written all the things on a whiteboard, which I'll show you in just a time. And uh, right now, we can begin with uh, the topic. Uh, well, this entire writing skill section contains of thirty marks, precious, precious thirty marks, which you can easily score. Uh, you just need some commitment and dedication towards it. Uh, Expansion of ideas comes for five marks, and uh, you can score four, four and a half out of five very easily. Uh, you just have to remember a few important things, which uh, we are going to learn in this video. So make sure you gather uh, some writing material beside you, and you can just simply jot down everything that I speak here. Okay, all right, fine. Proverbs. Now, the one very important and a very difficult thing with this uh, theme of proverb uh, that most of our students encounter is that they are not able to understand the meaning of the proverbs provided to them, and uh, that's a very bad thing. That's a very sad thing because uh, being in standard ninth or tenth uh, means that they are of what fifteen, sixteen years of age, and they could have then should have uh, known the meaning by now. Uh, but sadly, since they are falling uh, behind in their reading, they are not able to correctly assume and judge the meaning. Uh, but not to worry, there are uh, two different kinds of proverbs provided to you in the board exam. One will be the easy types that you have always heard and read and uh, known by for right from your childhood, like make hay while the sun shines, time and tide waits for no man, uh, rolling stone gathers no moss, moss, Ross, Chandler, Joey, Phoebe, Monica. Uh, I love Rachel. Well, don't get distracted. As uh, we were speaking, and the difficult topics that will be given to you, the difficult problems will be given to you will be like uh, uh, every dark cloud has silver lining. Uh, the apple does not fall far from the tree. If winter is here, can spring be far behind? Uh, the hand of oxygen rules the world. So it's a variety uh, that we are all going to discuss in this uh, video and. the next one also because i'm going to carry forward this expansion of theme wala idea into next video also uh, it's a long long topic uh, but we are going to cover it into much detail and uh, the second uh, variety uh, the second theme uh, that uh, will be given to you is of uh, maxim and like i said maxim is a cultural truth it's a cultural fact a social fact accepted by everyone it's a ethical thing it's a moral thing uh, it's a virtuous thing uh, executed by everyone Uh, for example, cleanliness is next to godliness. Honesty is the best policy. Uh, these are some good social maxims. 
uh, imbibed within us, imbued within us, uh, right from our childhood. Uh, the third is the quotation, the saying that is uh, written in a book, uh, maybe said by a real person, maybe uh, attributed to some fictitious person, doesn't matter. The saying is the same. Uh, for example, a man is maketh a man, reading maketh a man. Uh, these are good uh, quotations. And uh, the fourth one is the slogan. A uh, slogan which uh, makes everyone come into action, which jolts a human being uh, like uh, women empowerment, meet at the hour, uh, save the girl child, save the nation. Mm, good slogans. So these are the kind of topics that you are going to find in your board exam for uh, writing for 5 marks. So get ready. Okay guys, now before we go ahead and immerse ourselves in this topic, yes, literally drown ourselves in this topic, uh, we have to really understand the marking scheme of this topic, yes, we have to visualize it, we have to memorize it, uh, how the marks will be distributed, like I said before, the maximum you can score is 4, 4.5 out of 5, and the first one mark that will be given to you will be based on the title and the beginning. So when you start the topic, you're supposed to write a title in all caps, yes, in bold letters, in cap letters, okay? And uh, in the new format, you're not supposed to underline anywhere. Uh, no underlining with pen, no underlining with pencil, nothing, just leave it, okay? Uh, writing, uh, underlining has been eradicated, only writing has been given importance. And uh, then, as we all know, uh, this topic is supposed to be provided, uh, presented in two paragraphs, and two paragraphs only. Mm, each paragraph of say 8 to 10 lines so all of this topic should be written in maximum 18 to 20 lines that's it uh, which is one full scape page you're not supposed to go and uh, write two to and a half pages that is not needed that is not expected so the first one mark will be based on the title and the beginning the beginning that you're going to give like i always say always begin any topic uh, with some good quotation uh, mention of a uh, saying that really gets the reader that really has a huge impact on the reader. So you stand in good stead to get uh, good marks. Uh, the second one mark will uh, to be given to you will be based on your grammar, on your vocabulary, the good words that you're supposed to use, the grammatical errors that you're supposed to avoid. So you have to pay attention to that. The third one mark will be given to you will be based on uh, the sensible, uh, appropriate, uh, presentation of the topic. You're not supposed to wander away from the topic. You're not supposed to go outside the box. Okay, you have to limit yourself. You have to contain yourself to the topic itself. Uh, the fourth one mark will be given to you of uh, logical uh, uh, matter of the topic. Uh, what you write should make sense. Uh, you should try to uh, present the topic in a very neat and orderly fashion. So, logical uh, order does matter. And the last one mark will be given to you will be based on conclusion. Yes, but not your own conclusion, not your personal conclusion. So this means that you're not supposed to use the words I, me, my, we, us, are in your writing. Yes, avoid that. Don't do that. Uh, it's a general conclusion. Uh, what it means is uh, what this topic entails, what this topic teaches, what this topic really uh, means, the essence, the gist of the topic. That's it. Okay, now for the my time for the board. So guys, this is how it looks. I hope you're able to see it properly. I'll hold it for a few minutes. If you want to copy, you can copy it down. Okay. I still love the view. <laughs> and uh, next time we are going to go my another room. I will see our uh, next part of the library, the second part of the library. That's it. So, uh, we'll get this video till here. And uh, for the detailed explanation of uh, how we should write, uh, we'll check at the end of the video. Okay, uh, like I always do, uh, I provide a bonus at the end. And uh, since we have such a huge world of knowledge at our fingertips, why don't we pick something from here? So, how about this? The Stranger by Albert Camus. Uh, is a French writer and uh, this book, this novel, The Stranger, um, also known as An Outsider, is a very good book. It's an amazing novel, it's a heck of a novel and uh, if possible, please do read this book. Uh, it's the first novel written by this man 
I love this uh, author. Uh, he has genuinely written some authentic books, some real books, hard reading existentialist writing books. So you love this book, okay? Please, if possible, do buy and read this book. Next, uh, one more. I'll just give you one more. Um, if you're in the world of uh, commerce, finance, if you're in the world of uh, analytics, logistics, uh, travel, to uh, you're reading something, uh, you're dealing with something uh, uh, related to money and markets. So, this book, The Black Swan by Nassim Nicholas Taleb, is going to be a wonderful read for you. Uh, it's all about the unpredictability in today's world and how it uh, uh, dangerously harms the markets, uh, the finance, the economy, like we are dealing with the uh, coronavirus right now and it's harmful repercussions, it's harmful ramifications. So this is amazing read. This is a good read. So please, whenever you come, to, come across this book, buy it, surely buy it. Okay. All right. These are the two books that I, I have uh, with me uh, for today. and. Um, well, see you tomorrow, hopefully. Alright, okay, signing out. See you later.